Now at 5.30, law enforcement officers dedicated to keeping the community safe are being honored in San Bernardino County. Good evening. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5.30. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Micah Ulm. The Sheriff's Exceptional Service Award ceremony is taking place in Highland. KTLA Shelby Nelson joins us live with the spotlights on these dedicated and courageous heroes. Shelby. Yes, yeah, sure, Micah, some of the stories that we heard today were truly incredible and really did demonstrate bravery among many of these people who were honored today. From pulling people from burning buildings to rescuing a child sinking in a submerged vehicle, more than two dozen San Bernardino County first responders and everyday citizens recognized for their bravery and acts of heroism at the Exceptional Service Awards in Highland. Jeremy DeRider, a deputy at the Colorado River Station in Needles, pulled one vehicle over for a vehicle code violation. The suspect drove off, prompting a pursuit before exiting the running vehicle. The car rolled into an aqueduct. The worst part of it, a child was inside. As he exited the vehicle and the vehicle went into the canal, I could see the kid banging on the windows. Jeremy saved the child from the sinking car. He was awarded a Medal of Valor. When I arrived on scene, it was all we knew at that time, it was just an uh, injured Hiker. Chris Henry of the Fontana Sheriff's Substation also awarded the Medal of Valor after helping save a woman two winters ago. She was hit in the head by a falling rock in Mount Baldy, which caused a portion of her brain to be exposed. I thought of my daughters. I thought of my own daughters when I saw her down there and I probably rushed down without thinking of my own safety and ended up with some minor injuries myself. Others helping save elderly and children from burning buildings. And you might remember Deputy Marcus Mason, who was shot while responding to a call of a suspicious vehicle back in 2022. He was shot twice. <laughs> Since then, he's had a long recovery and even learned to walk again. I'm glad to be here to this day. It's been an up, uphill battle, but I'm finally starting to make a good amount of weight now. It is very stressful. It's different than taking the phone calls because, number one, you know the person on the other side of that mic. He was distressed, and you could hear it immediately when he keyed down, but he had been shot. Dispatcher Heather Lasseter will always remember that day. She's among many others showing bravery and acting in service before self in high-risk situations. Now, Sheriff Shannon Dykus couldn't be here today because he had to go to a family emergency, but he did express his gratitude to all the men and women who were honored. Reporting live in Highland, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you.